To draw the Lewis structure for Na3N, that's sodium nitride, we need to recognize that this is an ionic compound. We have a metal and nonmetal. That makes it ionic. So in an ionic compound, valence electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetals. So let's write Na and then N. But this 3 here means we have 3 sodium atoms. Sodium is in group 1 on the periodic table. It has one valence electron. So each of these sodiums has one valence electron in its highest energy level. Nitrogen is in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It has five valence electrons. So because this is an ionic compound, the sodium is going to transfer its valence electron to the nitrogen. When it does that, it's lost a negative charge. Since it's lost a negative charge, it's now positive. Each sodium will do this. The nitrogen, it's gained three valence electrons. Electrons are negative, so it has a three minus charge. And this negative charge here attracts the positive. That's what forms the ionic bond. We should put brackets around the nitrogen here to show that it's an ion. And you'll often see brackets around the positive ion as well. We need these brackets to show that the electrons aren't shared between the sodium and the nitrogen. The sodium transferred its valence electron to the nitrogen, and now it belongs with the nitrogen. When it did that, the nitrogen has an octet, eight valence electrons, so it's stable. Note that this is what we call a formula unit for Na3N. When we have an ionic compound, that's made up of a regularly repeating array of formula units called a crystal. But this is useful for us to understand how the sodium transferred valence electrons to the nitrogen in Na3N. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for sodium nitride, and thanks for watching.